Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, checking out Samurai Gunnan 2. <laughs> uh, this is a game that has been very popular on the Fediverse recently. Uh, I think it's been out for maybe a week at this point. Um, maybe a bit longer, I'm not sure, but I haven't played it yet. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about it besides that everyone really loves it. And I think it plays a bit like Towerfall. Uh, I switched it over to the comic option here because each of the options on the main menu have different, like, volumes. Um, this is the default one, but it's kind of, it's kind of overwhelming with all this, this drum beat, so I just switched it over to this one because it's very chill. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be playing with a pro controller. Um, I wasn't sure whether I should use a keyboard or whatever, but if you look at the manual for this game, it, like, tells you the basic moves and stuff, and it's using controllers to do it, like, it has little pictures of a d-pad and and stuff like that so i assume that's the intended way to play the game so yeah i've grabbed my controller that's what we're going to be using um so versus mode i think is the main mode so we're gonna have a quick look at that first um and then i think we'll have a look at the adventure mode because i am playing by myself here um i don't know what the right place to put my face is i'm covering part of the word adventure there uh it might make, make more sense to have my face in this corner I'll try that and see how we go, but I'm not really sure. So yeah, adventure versus comic. That does seem to be covering less stuff, but once we get into the game, I suppose I'll see uh, and get a proper idea. Anyway, uh, versus mode. Okay, we've got a bunch of characters here. I'm finding it kind of quite hard to read their names. <laughs> uh, let me see, we've got... Oh... Uh, Otomo, I think? Is that a T? Maybe it... Maybe, maybe it's like a, an R? Or Oromo? I'm not sure. It's, it's quite, it's quite an intense font. Uh... J... 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 Joss? J... J... H... O... S? J... J... Maybe? Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, and then you've got a puppy. And that's Hayo. H... A... Y... A... O, I think. This is a very stylized font, I'm having trouble reading it. Uh, slug, that one's a bit easier. It's slug. Uh... Pop... 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 G? Pop... Pob... Pob? Pop... 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 I don't know. Uh, that one's Golem. Some of them are much easier to read than others. Coming soon... Hell... Hel... Helm... Helmsley? Helmsley. Okay. Uh, I believe there are supposed to be some characters here who are, like, from other games. Uh, I believe, um, someone called, someone called Minute and the player character from Spelunky 2 are both supposed to be here, but I'm not seeing them. Maybe you have to unlock them. Uh, I guess we'll start with the first one. Uh, okay. I can run around. I can jump. Oops. I, I pressed, uh, it's the A button for me, but I guess it's the cancel button. Okay. Finding opponent, oh wait, online? Wait, I'm playing online? Uh, okay. I, I wasn't expecting that. I figured it would be like a local CPU sort of thing if I go went into this mode. Uh, without like connecting to another person, but okay. I, I guess I'm online matchmaking. Okay, I can uh, slide down the walls. Looks like I go a lot faster if I swing my sword. Not sure what that does, but it looks neat. If I hold down the button, like after I after I swing my sword, I like flip it back in. It looks neat. I don't know what that does. <laughs> um. I can also gain a bit of height by swinging upwards, which is interesting. Oh, shoulder buttons do things too. Okay, I can shoot a big explodey thing. Okay. Can I recollect my bullets, or is it like a one-time thing? Like, like Towerfall, I think it's like you have a limited, like a really limited amount of ranged ammunition per, like, turn or whatever. Uh, but I don't know if you can pick your stuff back up in this game. Okay, I think I'm out of shots now, because none of these buttons are doing anything. Hmm. 
It's possible there's no one to play with online right now, and that's why it's taking so long. <laughs> uh, I may need to just go to the adventure mode and test that out for the time being, and then have a look at the online stuff later. I assume that clap noise means I'm out of ammunition. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, that doesn't seem to be working. Probably there's no one playing online right now. I would assume. So let's go to adventure mode, which I assume works offline, and we'll see how we do. <laughs> okay, so we can play as the same characters, I think. Yeah, we've got Otomo. Ugh, the, the other fonts I can't... I still can't read. It's the same characters. We'll go to o, 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 Otomo Oromo? O, I think it's a T, but I'm not sure. But we'll go to this one and we'll see how it goes. Okay, uh, we've got like a... Okay, so we, we've got a bit of a semi-3D sort of thing going on here. We can move in all the directions. Um, what do we got happening here? Is this like a level we can go into or something like that? Okay, you hit it with your sword and now I'm in a level, I assume? Oh, hello! Oh, uh, sorry. Was I supposed to do that? Okay. <laughs> oh, I see. Now if I hover over it, I can see, like, which- what area that was. Okay. Okay, and I've got, like, I've got a roll. Oh, but that uses up my bullets. Why does rolling lose, use up my bullets? That's confusing. Okay, we got here? Okay. Uh, I guess I win. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a little... It's a little, uh... Overwhelmingly fast paced in some ways, <laughs> you, I might, uh, you might say. Uh, what's down here? Is this like a sub secret area sort of thing? Like there was a path to it, so it's not really a secret area, but. I, uh. Can I go in here? Doesn't look like it. I wonder if I got my uh, bullets back when I did a level. Looks like it. Doesn't seem to be anything on the screen telling you how many bullets you have, which. Seems like a bit of a weird limitation. Oh, hello! Uh, random encounters, apparently. Sort of. Okay. Okay. Okay, and that dropped... what's that? Uh, I just... like a soda can and I drank it? Okay. Oh, is it, is it doing a looping thing? Yeah, Towerfall does this too. When you walk off the bottom of the screen, it loops back to the top. Is that... are those leaves at the bottom like the number of enemies left? It doesn't look like it. Maybe that's my health? I'm not sure. Maybe that's my bullets. No, I don't think so, because I just used a bullet. Uh... Okay, that, that is my lives. I have multiple lives. Alright. This game is oddly quiet when there's not, like, actively a sword swing happening. Considering how, like, loud the music on the title screen was, it's interesting that there's not really a whole lot of music going on now. Oh. Hey, little bunny. Oh, hello, apple. Or some other kind of fruit. I don't, I don't know. Is it an apple? Can I get it? I don't seem to be able to. Oh, there we go. Uh, well I ate it. I don't know if that did anything. This is a little bit of a confusing game. Yeah, this definitely gives me very heavy towerful gut vibes. Oh, I have an apple as, my, as one of my items now. It's like an extra life, I think. Like next to my leaves there. I don't know if that's like a one-use extra life sort of thing. I'm guessing probably.
Come here. Victory! I'm not seeing like a timer or anything. I'd expect like a best time per level for this game, this this mode. It just seems to make sense, but I'm not seeing anything like that. Nor am I really seeing anything that looks like a story, which is interesting. Like, it's an adventure mode, in theory, but I'm just sort of going into levels and it hasn't told me why I'm doing any of this. Oh, I can break this stuff. Okay. We done? Alright. <laughs> that was fun. I think I'm not- I don't think I'm playing the game quite right. I think I'm supposed to, like, use my samurai gunman a bit more. Uh, I'm mostly using my samurai sword and so... Does the water do anything? Okay, I can splash in it. I think it's harmless. Oh no! It's a... a snail with a gun. I think. I'm not quite sure what I'm looking at here. Oh no! Is it, a, is it a snail? Okay. <laughs> well, uh, that's defeated, I, I guess. Okay, so that was introducing me to the, like, I guess guys that have guns type enemies. Ah! Oh no. Oh no! Huh? <sighs> Did that use up my my uh, fruit forever? Or okay, no. Yes, it's gone. All right. Oh my goodness. Oh god. Oh no! At least I get three leaves per level and they come back. How? Oh, that doesn't fall? Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Ah! Any purpley here? Don't know what it is. Ah! I tried to shoot them first, but it didn't seem to work. Ah! Ah! Do I have a way to deflect their shots or something? Hmm. Oh, okay. Okay, if I hit a shot with my sword, it actually goes back. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Okay. <laughs> oh, I get it now. Okay. What is this? Did, did I get an upgrade or something? I think I can... Whoop. I can drop my sword by pressing X, but I don't know why I would want to do that. 
Doesn't seem to achieve anything. I feel like I mean, maybe I can switch weapons, but I don't know how. Because I think the thing I just picked up is probably like a second weapon, but I don't know how to use it. Maybe I have to press... No? I tried plus and minus. Um, clicking the mouse button... Not mouse button. What are these things called? The analog sticks. No? Hmm. I don't get it. Like, I can press this button. It makes me drop my sword. Can I then pick up something else up? It doesn't seem like I can. Oh, cool. You get, like, a first strike, like in Paper Mario. I love it. You know how much I love Paper Mario? Uh. Wait, did I still win? Or did they just kill me? I don't understand what just happened. I think maybe you only get one life for a random encounter, and if you lose, they just go away and you just don't get rewarded? Maybe? I'm a little confused. Yeah, there's something over there. Can I go over there? Because I can see, like, the, some, like, little dots of light. Hmm. Try starting here and see if that helps me get over there. Ah! Oh god, there's so many of them. <sighs> oh no. Oh no, my samurai gunnin. Oh no. Oh, oh, the random encounter's back. Okay. Hello. Oh. Yeah, you only get one life for those instead of three, I think. Yeah, and it, no it knocks you away. Okay, that makes sense. Sort of. This is still a very confusing, uh, game, I would say. I'm getting a bit of a sense of how it works, but... It's- it's puzzling. <laughs> Ugh. I timed that extremely wrong. Seriously? <laughs> They're everywhere. Okay, and because I went there, this is respawned. Okay. I see how it works. You wanna come down here? Yeah, I didn't think so. Yeah, and you can wall kick your way up walls like that. Up. Oh, oh, that was close. <laughs> oh, I'm not very good at this game. I don't know if you've noticed, but I would describe myself as not very good at this game. <laughs> oh, jeez. Flower there or something? Yeah. Oh, wow. 
The absence of music is very strange, I must say. Uh, hello. Yeah, finally. Oh, that took a while. <laughs> Do I get a prize or something? Yes, I get I get a can of soda. I, I don't know what that does, but thank you. <laughs> uh Hey, what's going on here? Is it like it just keeps spawning enemies and and you have to survive until the timer runs out or something like that? I don't know. Well, I'm not doing a good job of surviving until the timer runs out. Time. I think the time is not that long. So if I just practice a couple times, I should be a bit better at it. I think it's random where the enemies appear, though. Ah, too early. I don't know if holding the button is useful, either. I still haven't figured that out. Ah! Ah! <sighs> Okay. Let's try backtracking to this one and give this one another look. I think if I stay down here, I might... Ah! I'm not sure what happened to me there. just such a like a, a fast game that you just get defeated so quickly. Oh jeez. Oh really? Ah. Oh. Okay, one more shot. win? Did I do it? Yes! Yes, give me that soda. Where did it go? Where's my soda? Uh, my soda got away. Okay, what have we here? Some more of these guys? Okay. Okay, and then some more of these guys with the guns. Ah! Timing. I would not describe myself as super good at this game. <laughs> ah! 
<laughs> the lack of music is very weird. I'm not sure if I did something wrong. Or if it's just supposed to be silent, like, aside from the noises of death. Where do you think you're going? There we go. Whew. Oh? Okay, what's happening? Oh. Oh. Okay, uh, is this like a boss fight of some kind? Or what's happening? Okay, I don't have any bullets. I tried shooting first and I just clapped, so... I, I guess I need to just time my, sh my sword better. Not like that. That wasn't better. That was, that was the same. Oh! Oh, I did it! Uh, okay. Later in Early Access. Alright, yeah, this is an Early Access game, so this is probably still a fairly incomplete mode at this point. I guess that makes sense. Uh, is there anything I, I didn't finish? I didn't finish this one. Let's go back in here. Ah! It's still real hard. <laughs> okay, uh, let's let's go back to let's go to the title screen. And see what else we can do. Um. A comic, is that literally just reading a comic? Yes, it is. It's very cute, but it's not really a game. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna just backtrack to here. Uh, I guess I could try doing adventure mode again with another character. Oh, oh, you press down to get to these ones. Uh, let's try Anna from Splunky or Anna. Okay, so I have a whip. I seem to be quite a bit slower than the other characters. Uh, oh, I'm at the same spot. I, it didn't, like, make me start over again. Okay, cool. I seem to control more or less like I would in Spelunky, which is interesting. I think I have more range because a whip is, like, a bit longer than a sword. Ah! <laughs> Can I still shoot? Or... Okay, I have like a jetpack. But I'm out of jetpacks now. Oh, and I actually can grab onto the top of ledges, like in Spelunky. Interesting. I've never played Minute, so I, I probably can't figure out like what qualities that character has. Uh, but I have played Spelunky, so I know what's, what to expect for a Spelunky character. Also, I'm bad at games. <laughs> okay, uh, I guess let's try some of the other characters, the more unique ones. Who's this? Oh, wh whatever their name is, we're gonna... Okay, so we've got a sword. We feel This character feels a bit slower, maybe? Okay, when you dash backwards with uh, ZL, you turn invisible for a little bit, which is interesting. I wonder if that makes you intangible as well, like, so you don't get hurt. Hmm. 
I'm not sure if there's, like, I think I collected a second weapon over here, but I don't know if there's a way to use it, or if I just, I'm probably just stuck with a sword. Like, I picked something up in this area, right? But I don't know if that's something I can actually use, or if that's, maybe that's a thing that's not done yet in early access, I don't know. Uh, I'll try checking, like, what it thinks the controls are. Uh, up, down, left, right, jump, sword, gun is, uh, R, L, oh, up on, D up on D-pad? Is that D-pad? Oh, no, no, that's, that's the X button. Okay. Well, I can drop my weapon with that button, but it doesn't seem to let me use another weapon in its place. Let's try the puppy. Okay. The puppy's got a little bit of a different dash and a bit of a different gun. I think I probably actually want to look at the manual, because it had a lot more inf information about what the characters could do. Uh, if I just click over... Where did it go? I think I closed the tab. History, recently closed tabs. How to play Samurai Gunman 2. Here we go. Okay, the basics. Jump, hold down the jump button. Hold down the button to jump high. You can jump up walls. You can slash in four directions. You can deflect bullets. You have three bullets per life. You can dash in eight directions. Swords can't hurt you while dashing. Sword jump, jump then slash. Slash immediately after jumping. Wobble bullet, super bullet, super slash. Okay, and here are the characters. Oh, oh, uh, the orange hair person has has a double jump. I did not know that. I think the character might be called Ghost. Yeah, invisible bullets. Okay, so, you, yeah, you go invisible when you dash, uh, and your bullets become invisible as well. Okay, and you've got a double jump. Uh, this here puppy uh, can wall climb. Give that a try. Um... Oh, yeah. Yeah, he just sort of runs up the wall for a little while. Uh, he's also got wolf speed. Accelerates significantly when running on the ground. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, he goes very quick. The camera- he can get out of the way of the camera very fast. Okay. Okay, let's- let's just toggle through the characters in adventure mode and just get a sense of what they all do. Uh, the next one along is Slug. Here we go. Kunai. Shoot. Kunai stick to walls and we picked up to regain ammo. Slug only gets two Kunai. Okay. So my ammunition is reusable, unlike most characters. Oh yeah, that's... So my Kunai just sort of stuck to the wall over there. Can I grab it? Ow. Yeah, I picked it up. Okay, and I can stick to the wall, like, permanently, I think. I also have a fast fall maneuver. Yep. Uh, and I can shoot tilt shot. It says tilt shot. I guess I can shoot in different directions. Like diagonally, rather than just, just the uh, cardinal directions, I think. Okay. Then we have this guy. He has explosive bullets. Yeah, they make a big explosion. If he dashes through an opponent, he will toss them the direction you were pressing when, when the dash ends. Let's give that a shot. Okay, I'm not seeing that happen. Hmm. Maybe that doesn't happen in, in story mode. Maybe it's only when you, it's like real opponents. Also falls faster than other characters, apparently. Okay. I guess I can kind of see that. It's hard to compare because you only see one character at a time. Uh, Golem? 
Knuckle bullets. Golem's bullets will destroy other bullets, including his own. Oh, he's sort of floaty. Look at that. Woo. I think that's Stone Stance. Tumbles less than other characters. Neat. Uh... Minute. Minute tosses their sword instead of shooting. This doesn't use ammo. Oh yeah, I see. They toss their sword. Oh, and it makes the whole game look like this. Oh, that's really interesting. Okay. Uh, their downside is they have the Cursed Sword passive. They die after 60 seconds. I'm guessing from the name and the fact that they die after 60 seconds that Minute is a game that you only get to play for 60 seconds and then, like, you you die. It's, like, really short levels. I I've never played it. <laughs> okay. But dashing still uses a bullet. You can run out of bullets, but you can still throw your sword after running out of bullets. Interesting. Oh, and it's got lots of options. Hang on. Get a title. Let's bring her back up. Okay, so she's got bombs. There you go. Like in Spelunky. Uh, she can shoot ropes, which also I think use a bullet. Uh, and you can hold the jump button with a jetpack out. To fire the engines on the jetpack. Okay, so she can just sort of fly along for a little bit while the jetpack is active. She can also crawl, which apparently lets her crawl under the other character's bullets. And she's got the ledge hang ability. So yeah, she's got some pretty cool abilities there. Neat. Okay, okay, so... It looks like this is primarily designed to be like a multiplayer experience at the moment, mostly the versus mode. And that doesn't se it doesn't seem like anyone's matchmaking at the moment, so I can't really experience that just yet. Uh, hang on, let me scroll back up. I should probably practice some of these combinations before I... ...go anywhere else. Uh, let's see. Sword jump. Jump, then slash. Doesn't look that different, but okay. Slash immediately- oh, hello! G game is happening. I guess I'm playing with someone called Adult Man? Okay. Um... I'm confused. It feels a little slower, but I think that might be because of the netcode. Or it might be because this character's kind of floaty. I'm not sure. Yeah, see, I can double jump as this character. Oh, right. I can fall off the bottom and be okay. Neat. Oh, no. I'm not sure what number we're aiming to get to. Maybe it's supposed to five or something? I don't really know. Ow! I'm getting my my butt kicked here. Does, does that mean they win? 
Like, it looks like they have a, a lot more points and stuff. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh! Ah! Okay, so you can just jump off the bottom, you have to worry about falling. You just sort of fall, fall from the top again. Ah! Okay, so that's how those work. Anna survives. Uh... Yeah? Uh, okay. Uh, let's switch over to, to this one. Okay, super bullet? Press both of them? Oh, okay. Opponents tumble if they deflect it, tears through destructibles. Super slash, dash plus slash. Super deflecting a regular bullet creates a super bullet. Super deflect a super bullet to avoid tumbling. Wobble bullet, shoot then slash? I can't try that now because I'm out of bullets, but apparently that's a thing you can do. Let's scroll down to this character section. Palm fire. Her bullet creates a fire when it hits the ground. Speed boost for a short time after spawning. Beheading an opponent triggers the speed boost again. Okay. It's not possible to grab that bullet, is it? Okay, I, I guess the game's happening. Says ready. Who am I facing? Ready? Did it get stuck? I don't really know what holding my sword button is doing. Like, you, you do the sword and then you sort of flish, flip it around again? Um, let's see. Yeah, the, the, the game manual does not tell you what that means. Hmm. Game seems to be a bit stuck. I don't know if I did something wrong or. I'm not sure why you'd want to drop your sword because I haven't seen anything else you can pick up to replace it with. And like, yeah, without it, I just can't attack. Hmm. I think the game had a bit of a problem. It's still early access, so it's probably to be expected that it gets, you know, confused now and then. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's not working. <laughs> oh, goodness. 
Well, um... In any case, this is Samurai Gunnin 2, a game which is in early access that... I, I would still describe it as very similar to Towerfall. Um... I want to see Madeline Celeste as a playable character. <laughs> um... It looks like it's probably a lot of fun, but also not something I'm very good at. And I think I, that's a bit frustrating. Uh... At least for me personally. Um, you definitely want to have a, a look at the manual to get an idea of what these characters do differently because the game does not tell you. Um, and maybe because it's early access, it maybe because you're just supposed to look at the manual, which is not very long. It's like very short, just a thing saying basically here are the controls, here's each character, here's their special ability. <sighs> But yeah, you should definitely look at that if you haven't. Um, yeah, so that's Samurai Gunnin 2. <laughs> um, the adventure mode seems very rudimentary at the moment. Um, I, I would suggest that probably makes sense because the game is, as I mentioned, in early access. I imagine it's going to become more complex and interesting as we progress and the game gets more development done but uh the basic controls are very good it feels very smooth and precise getting your character to do what you want um you probably want to play with a d-pad rather than an analog stick uh it works with either of them like if i analog stick hang on analog stick works and d-pad also works like you can use either but because of the way the game works, you can't really go at different speeds. Uh, and- oh! Okay, okay. I guess I'm playing the game now. <laughs> Who am I playing with? Uh... Oh, that's interesting. I thought it would drop me out on the other side, but it doesn't. What's going on? Am I supposed to have an enemy of some kind, or what's going on? Did that go from through there? Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, hello, look at that. You can just run on this platform because it's made of sticky goo. Hang on to it upside down. I like that. I'm guessing similar similar deal with this bit. Uh... You should have forgotten to give me an opponent. So I'm a little confused. I'm not sure if that's another glitch. Like, related to it being stuck on ready for so long. I still can't pause to get out of it, so... Whoa! Oh. Uh, whoops. Right, I killed myself by accident by shooting a bullet that's made of fire. Because that's what, that's what this character does. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't seem to have an enemy. To face at all, so yeah. Um, <laughs> my, my verdict is basically this game looks like a lot of fun if you like Towerfall. It's not as finished as that game, but it's it looks like it's very like it's got a very solid foundation, and as it progresses, it's going to be a lot of fun. And if you like Towerfall, definitely play this. Is pretty much my my take. Um, I'm not super good at Towerfall, and I'm not super good at this either, but I like how it controls. It feels pretty smooth and comfortable to, to play. Uh, it's kind of weird to me that dashing consumes a bullet. I'm not quite sure what, why that it works that way. Because, like, it's, it's dashing. But why does that use a bullet? But it does, and there you go. Um... I do want to see more characters. I want I want to see Madeline Celeste specifically. I don't know how practical that'll be, but there are already two cameos from you know popular indie titles, and like this is like I think the vast majority of people playing this game aren't cis probably. So getting Madeline Celeste in is probably something that like Maddie Thorson would be interested in. Ah. <laughs> uh... And yeah, because the game is also very similar to Towerfall, and, and you can play as Madeline Celeste in Towerfall, like, because that's another game 
that uh, Maddie and her friends worked on. So, sorry, their friends? Maddie and their friends? I think that's right. Uh, yeah, I think I think I glitched it somehow. <laughs> it's just put me into a level by myself. And I can't pause to get out of it because, like, you can't normally pause to get out of a battle with another player. So I guess I'll just quit the game in a moment, but for now, uh, that's somewhere I got into. I, I never played the first one, but I assume it's quite similar. Uh, but yeah, all of the characters have a little bit of difference to them. They play a little bit differently, despite having, you know, the same basic weaponry and same basic maneuvers and stuff. So it's it's probably interesting to figure out who your, who your fave is, who you want to main, that kind of thing. Uh, uh, the controls are very smooth, they, they very, feel very tight and precise, um, very fast paced, it's, it's basically, it's a very similar game to Towerfall, and it's a lot of fun in a lot of the similar ways, and I suspect you're not supposed to call it Samurai Gunnin, I think you're supposed to just say Samurai Gun, but I, I felt like, I felt like saying it that way, so, there you go. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, that's about all I got to say about this game. Um, I guess uh, expect this to maybe happen. I, I don't know. I assume this is some sort of bug in the like matchmaking code that it's decided to match me with nobody, so I get to play all by myself. Uh, but I assume this will probably not happen in normal play. But maybe it would. Who knows? <laughs> Uh, but anyway, that's about all I got to say. Uh, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope I gave a decent impression of the game. Like, I'm probably not the best person to, to give you a good impression of what it's like when like a skilled player plays this, given this is the first hour I've ever played of it and I'm not very good at similar types of game. <laughs> but uh, hopefully, you know, uh, you if you're interested in this kind of game, this one looks good. I hope you can grab it and check it out. It's on Steam. Um, it's it's in Steam Early Access. I don't think it's on any other platforms yet. I don't know if they're planning on that, but yeah, it's on, it's on Steam. Uh, I'm playing it on Steam. <laughs> uh, I think it's only, it's only like officially built for Windows, but it does run in Proton, so you can play it that way if you want. If you need to, if that's the way your computer's set up. Uh, yeah, that's all I've got to say. I think you can also play with a mouse and keyboard, but uh, probably you're going to be most comfortable using your controller like this. That's the impression I get anyway, and I think that's what the developers intended, because the instruction manual talks about, like, the buttons and the shoulders and all that. It does not talk about the keyboard controls at all, so I assume you're not really supposed to play with keyboard controls. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye! <laughs>